Hello everyone! In this video, I'm going to show you how I keep myself organized when preparing for lessons and how I keep track of notes during my lessons. What I use are sticky notes. And no, I'm not talking about these sticky notes. I'm talking about a sticky note app, so digital sticky notes. So if you take a look at my screen here, you're going to see I have three separate sticky notes for my students that I'm teaching tomorrow. So first, let me show you where you can find the Sticky Note app. So when I downloaded this, I just went online. Let me pull up my browser here. And it is a Microsoft app. So I'm not sure if this is available for Macs. I have a PC, so I was able to download it on my computer. And I just downloaded, going to Sticky Notes app Microsoft. And right here, I can see apps.microsoft.com, sticky notes, and it is a free app. So no payment involved, totally free. And then you can download it to your computer. So once it is downloaded on my computer, I just search for it down in this little search bar in the bottom corner. I just type in sticky notes, and it always pops up here and then I can open it on my screen. So there are a couple things I want to just show you, how I use it, how I open things, and how you can customize them. So over here is like my main sticky note panel. It's kind of like this. <laughs> it holds all of your sticky notes. So you can color code them. So first, actually, let me show you how you add one. So the little plus sign adds a new sticky note. Once you open a new sticky note, the three dots over here, I can change the color. So if you want to customize for different levels, if you want to make them for notes for the lessons that you teach or different colors for different students, however you want to customize it, you can do that. And then down here, you can just change bold, italics, underline, cross out, dots, or add a picture if you wanted to add a picture for a student. And anytime you create a new sticky note, even after you click exit or close, it will save that sticky note in your list over here. So even though I closed it out, I can double click on it and it opens it back up. I used to use this when I taught for VIP kids. So if I scroll down, I need to delete some of the stuff. I have like lesson notes for different levels. I have the pink was level four, the green was level three, the gray was level one. I did way too much and I have all this stuff that is just sitting here that I can't even use anymore. But you never know, maybe VIP kid will re-energize and start getting students again. So I'm holding on to all those sticky notes just in case. But I don't use those anymore. So the way I use it now for my private lessons is for preparing for my lesson for each student and taking notes for that student during class. So tomorrow I'm teaching three students. I teach Candy, Owen, and Baby. So tonight what I did was I was looking through what I'm teaching them tomorrow and I just make a list of the stuff I need for that class because a lot of times I use multiple resources. So I like to have those all listed, ready to go. So for candy, I always do a word wall game at the beginning for review. So I list the word wall game that I need to use and then the lesson code. I use Learnaling. So I use a simple coding system, LL for Learnaling, 227, which just means level two, unit two, lesson seven. She only has two things I need, pretty simple, but it's good to have that written down. Owen, I need word wall. Then I need the lesson. I started, I ended our last lesson on slide 19. So this tells me which slide I need to start on. So I'm not having to dig through and figure out what slide to jump to. And then I have a reading A to Z story and an activity to go with it. So I have four things here. So I really need this list. So I remember what I need to use. And baby, same thing, word wall, lesson slide 23, uh, epic story and an activity to go with that epic book that we're reading. So this just helps me have everything organized. But I don't get rid of these notes. They stay on my screen. So what I would do tonight was just move them over. I can exit out of that. I don't need that open. It keeps these on the screen. And then tomorrow, when I'm ready to teach these students, I pull the sticky note over 
for my lesson. So what I do, since I have a very large monitor and I also have a second monitor, I always have my lesson or my platform, whatever I'm teaching on, whether it's Zoom, Class In, Koala Go, whatever platform you use, it does not fill my entire screen. So let's say this box is my platform and my lesson. Then I would just drag Candy and I put her sticky note under my lesson. So it's very easy for me to see it. I don't have to look over, back and forth. Everything is right there. So when I'm opening stuff for class, I can click on Word Wall, open that up, open the lesson, and everything is ready to go before class. I'm not having to search around for anything. And then during class, I also use the sticky note. So all I do, go down a couple spots, as we're talking, as we're going through the lesson, I jot down notes if necessary. So if there's something exciting she told me about that I want to make sure I remember to include in my feedback, I might type that in there really fast. If there's something that she struggled with pronunciation, I put a P and then I type the word that she struggled with. So I remember to mention that in feedback or to practice in our next class. If there's something I need to remember to ask her or talk about in our next class, I can write that down. That way everything is saved. And like I said, it automatically saves everything that you type. So if I accidentally exit out, I just go back, click on the dots, click on my note list, and it's still there. So I don't have to worry if I accidentally exit out or I can just exit and come back to it later. And then I have it. And then what I do, which everybody might do it differently than me, is I just take the notes, copy them, and then I have a larger document, an Excel document, that I keep track of the notes for each class. This is just what I use during class. Of course, I could save this, and I actually did that with VIP Kid. I had a sticky note for the student, and then after that day, I would just type in the date. Let's say today, tomorrow is 6-23, and then I would put the information for 6-23, and then our next class, and you could keep the sticky note and just add to it as you go but that's up to you and what you prefer. And then when I'm done with Candy, oh, Owen's up next. Drag his sticky note. I'm getting ready for class, open everything that I need, and I'm good to go. Again, class has started. I can type any notes. And it also helps me because I have a terrible memory, especially if I'm teaching back-to-back -back classes. I don't have time right after a class to go type a bunch of notes or try to remember them. My memory is terrible. So I like having the sticky note so I can do it during class and nobody complains that I'm typing. They don't care. And I have all that ready to go when later on, hours later sometimes, when I'm ready to send my feedback, then I have all that information ready. And for our next class, I can go back and look at my notes for our previous class so I know what he struggled with or what he did really well with that can help me plan for my next class. So this is what I like to use. I've been using it for years now because I use it with my private students and I used it with VIP Kid. It is my favorite thing to use for preparing for class and getting notes taken for my classes. So I hope this is helpful for somebody out there. If you want to try it out, it is awesome. And the best part is it's free. So happy teaching everyone. See you next time. Bye-bye.